hopefully a quicker video of just some of the uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can use on Fire Alpaca, uh, which is the site here. Uh, just a quick note, I am using a Mac, so you're going to see this Mac keyboard provided by macworld.co.uk. So, just quickly, this isn't my image, this is theirs. Um, without further ado, let's get straight to the keyboard and start with the shortcuts. This is going to be very fast, so it's because I never found this all too difficult to get used to. Anyway, uh, a lot of the uh, shortcuts that you're going to find can actually be found next to each of the uh, images. New for me is going to be Command and then N. Um, for PC users, for window users, it will be control N. So our command is your control. And that's going to be very basic for all the Windows users. You can see a lot of them right here. I'm going to go over a few of them. Not too many of them, like undo, everybody knows, control, command Z, copy, paste, so on and so forth. These, uh, these buttons, all sorts of fun to find on my keyboard, so I almost never use them. Um, so yeah, just a lot of these you're not going to be seeing too much of. However, I did go through and I, I, yeah, uh, I'm showing off some of the ones that I use, I will be planning on using, or that I just found fun. So without further ado, let's start with closing out an image. To close out an image, it's going to be Command W, or Control W, you, just in that order. It'll close down your image. That's the shortcut that I just used on my end. It's going to ask if you want to save. Uh, cancel that. All right. Next up is saving. Command S. There you go. And uh, to save a new file, Command Shift S, which you're going to see up here as well. Um, it'll actually be Shift. Uh, yeah, it's Shift Command S. So instead of just Command then S or Command Shift S, it's actually going to be Shift here and then there, just so the computer can register my keystrokes. The Transform tool is next. You're going to have Command and then T, and you're going to get you're going to be able to play with those. Uh. Your free transform is just going to be after you've hit that transform shortcut. You're just going to hit your command or control key again. Uh, let's make that bigger. So if I hold down the command key and hit that corner, it'll change it to um, what is this? The free transform, so perspective and all that. So I don't want to change that. So. There's that. Your next next up is going to be delete. On the Mac, it's a little bit different. Um, none of the Macs I've used use this delete button here. They're always going to use the big one up at the top. So quick note there for you Mac users. Straight lines. If you want to draw a straight line with any pen tool, any of these tools, any erase tool, dot tool, pretty much anything, it's going to be shift. Just shift. And wherever you last hit that button is going to be where... Um, it's going to be where you're going to start. So that was my last one. If I wanted to draw a straight line, it'll be shift. Then I click out. As you can see, it will not have pressure sensitivity. So that's your straight lines. Up next is tools. Tools is going to be the lightning round, round for me. Eyedropper, you're either going to use option or you're going to use the letter I. You Mac users, option or I. I'm not quite sure about PC users. The move tool is going to be V, so if you select V, it's going to automatically select that move tool for you. Up next is switching colors. If you're going to select a new color or you want that color that's underneath without going to click there, it's going to be X. After that, it's going to be your rotate. You want to rotate without coming up here to click any of these, it's going to be your side buttons here. It'll rotate it the way that you're hitting your button. To flip the image, make it backwards. It's going to be that down arrow. You're going to flip the image either way. The up arrow does not work. Next is going to be your select. You want to do the uh, full select there. It's going to be the letter M. That's how you're going to get your box select. That up next is fill tool, N. Uh, N. 
So you can now fill whatever color you'd like. Up next is your brush tool. You want the brush and you just don't feel like clicking up here because your undo button is right there. It's that B button right there. After that, it's going to be your drawing selection. Or, what did I do? S is snap. Or not snap, it is your drawing selection. Never mind. So, now I can draw without even worrying about it. But as usual, command B for your undo. Default colors, you're going to hit B. So that's going to flip back to black on white. Default colors. Your bucket tool is going to be G. You're going to select G and you're going to get your bucket tool. There he is. Your hand tool is going to be H. Now you can move your image around. There it is. H. H for hand. Your lasso tool is going to be L. So now you can get your lasso. Your lasso selection. If you want to type in text and you don't want to go find that little T, well you can just hit that T on your keyboard. You can type it, type in anything you want. Uh, what about eraser? If you want the eraser without coming up here because you're scared of hitting another button, you're just going to hit E. E is going to be your eraser. Your wand tool is going to be your W, so if you want that beautiful selection, you're going to hit W. Full screen is going to be tab. Don't worry, all of your stuff is still here. You can still get to there, and you just hit tab again to get, bring it all back. All right, so that was that for the lightning round on tools. Have fun with that part. I mean, I'm still learning a lot of those, and I, I'm not even going through all of them. So... Now we're going to move on to your selection. So as usual, you can select a box, and then you can select another box, and then there's your box again. But you can't select two at once. Well, if you want to select more, other than clicking out, you're going to hit that shift key. So I want to select a box, but I want to select a box right next to it at the same time. You're going to hit and hold shift, and you have now have two boxes that are selected at the same time. This works for all selection tools. This works for your... Um, magic wand tool, you hit shift, you can just keep selecting more and more and more. This works for your lasso tool. If you want to lasso that, and you want to lasso something else, it's going to be right there. It's going to work for everything that you have. Um, other than that, maybe you don't want something selected, or maybe you have this box, but you don't want the U. You don't want that U selected, but you want everything around that U selected. You are going to hit the command key, control key for all of you on the PC, or at least it should be. And you're going to get that little subtraction. You're going to select around that U, and now that U is no longer selected. Like I said, this is just a really quick video of all of the shortcuts that I prefer using. Uh, it's nowhere close to all of them. Like I said, you can come up here and you will get all of these. You can hit the one uh, this is just snap. You have your butt, your numbers for snap, your color. You can uh, make everything transparent. You can swap colors. Uh, like I said, that was the default right there. Uh, zooming in is uh, command or control, and then the plus button. You also have it minus fit to window size. It's going to be your zero with your command control key. Um, yeah, so there's a lot more here. I just wanted to introduce some of you new users to a few of them, or maybe some of you people who haven't gone through and hit all of the buttons on the keyboard yet to some of them that maybe you didn't see, maybe you didn't hear about, maybe you were just curious of. And so that was that for your quick shortcut.